talking about building up confidence in women, if you realize that yours is not confident because of the fact that she feels, well, I don't speak well, I, I don't dress well and all of that, so I cannot go um, in the midst of people. Mind you, there are people that, if they want to take their, wife, their wives out, they are like, no, just because they are shy, they feel like, yeah, what, what if we go and I can't use the calorie and all of that. How many men would have the time to train their wives? To build that confidence. Papa, it, it, it boils down to two things on the part of, first of all, the man and the woman. You see, they see me or her, when you into our brain, no, I not the any drama you could. And the two put together becomes utmost respect that a man gets. It's matter. So if the man is being given much respect, he intends accord love to the okay. woman. That's my sir. But see, be all the woman, you couldn't be, you couldn't do it. That's my sir. So the love will make the man want to build you up and your confidence so that wherever I go, I go with you. I go most of the places I go with my wife. Mm. Not because she's beautiful, mm -hmm. but because I want to go out go with her. her. Regardless of how she may have looked, mm -hmm. I still go out with her because mm -hmm. you see, when she treats me like why won't I show I don't I don't care how what people do or say about her. Oh no, she's my wife. Get you to the fact that this is my wife. Okay. Wherever I go, I go with her. Mm. That's my answer. Mm. And the, if it happens, if you pray, you have baby na day and she has problem with maybe a disease in her language. I teach my wife at home. Okay. My wife knows I'm an English master. Yeah. So I teach her at home. Mm. That's my answer. Yeah. Sometimes even when she's going to write something, mm -hmm. she sends it to me. So mm. it's okay, yeah. Then I send it. Then fine. So if you know she's not there, Bring okay. her there, yeah. and what will make a man bring her there is uh -huh. when the man is very respected. Okay. In Buma, I mean, you just mean few. Remember the way you got talked about. But able. what about men that do not want their ladies or women to be at the same level as they are? Papa, my car was the hardest. This is in the beginning. We are not doing it. We are unprepared for her. Run. Okay. Or you could die into run. Uh huh. That's my answer. Into run. Do you have to find a way of you to get yourself there? But when a man. You don't want your wife. What do you want? You want people to look down on your wife? Nah, there are people like that. Oh, no, it is their upbringing. Okay. You see, most men, how they treat their wives and children, is the kind of upbringing they had. Because growing up, who do we look up to? We look up to our father and mother. Yeah. So the kind of upbringing a gentleman puts out there, 60% is what he got from his parents. Mm. That's a matter. Yes, please. I know somebody who's very authoritative, and he, his father was like that. So it runs down. Oh, okay. That's yeah. Fine. Indeed, whatever a man is in his family, in his home, 60% is the upbringing. Okay. Indeed, you, you as a woman, let me tell you, see, before you, you get married, that is why I always say that, before you get married, hmm. Papa, use that courtship time to find out a lot about the guy you Exactly. Know. Ask the hard questions. Let me tell you, take away sex. Sex is like cooking without adding salt in it. Today, young, Fana, Fanchin, and two. Mm -hmm. When you put in salt, it's perfect. Yeah. So get to know him, get to know who he is, be friend with him, mm -hmm. get to know him so much without sex. When you add the sex, it's wonderful. 